This is Xinhua News. The Philippine side should stop misleading the international community and using the South China Sea issue to instigate disputes, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin said on Thursday. China was the first country to discover, name and explore and exploit the Nanhai Juda and relevant waters and was the first to exercise sovereign rights and jurisdiction over Nanhai Juda and relevant waters continuously, peacefully and effectively. After the Second World War, the Chinese government recovered and resumed the exercise of sovereignty over Nanhai Juda, which has been illegally occupied by Japan during its war of aggression against China. And China has territorial sovereignty and maritime rights and interests in the South China Sea, including that China has sovereignty over Nanhai Juda. China has internal waters, territorial sea, and contiguous zone based on Nanhai Juda. China has exclusive economic zones and continental shelf based on Nanhai Juda. And China has historical rights in the South China Sea. As early as 1948, the Chinese government officially released the dotted line, which has been upheld by successive Chinese government. It has never been questioned by many country for a long time. China has never claimed that the whole of the South China Sea belongs to China. The Philippine side accuses China of making all waters inside the dotted line as territory. It's not in line with the fact and its deliberate distortion of China's position. The Philippine side should stop misleading the international community using the South China Sea issue to instigate disputes. To address the South China Sea issue, we are firmly upholding China's territorial sovereignty and maritime rights and interests, and we stand ready to address the maritime issue and differences through dialogue and consultation with countries directly concerned on the basis of respecting history and the facts. Pending a solution to the differences, China also stands ready to work with countries directly concerned to achieve win-win results by carrying out maritime cooperation and jointly safeguard peace and stability in the South China Sea.